In this video, I'm going to show you how to find LabVIEW examples for your Compact DAC modules. Uh, so Compact DAC uses the DACMX driver, and we have a lot of different examples to help you get started with these modules. The uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open up LabVIEW, then you're going to go to Help, and then Find Examples. So this is going to open up the LabVIEW Example Finder. Um, you can either search for examples here, or if you just want to get to all of the DACMX examples, you can go to Hardware Input Output, you can go to DACMX, and then you can see all the different types of examples. So we have analog input and output examples, counter input output examples, the digital input and output examples, examples for power, sound and vibration, synchronization, a lot of great examples. Um, I'll just open up the analog inputs. You can see that we have a lot of uh, examples for different sen sensor types, including thermocouples, um, uh, RTDs, uh, currents, bridge, um, just voltage inputs, examples. Uh, let me really quickly just open one of these uh, thermocouple examples, the thermocouple continuous input example. Um, basically, these examples are really well set up with a full um, front panel set up with many, many different options for settings, uh, and then a well-documented block diagram as well, so you can kind of understand what's happening first setting channel settings and accuracy settings, things like that. So if you are looking to uh, build some LabVIEW code for uh, your compact DAC, I highly recommend going and looking to the example finder first. Uh, and now you know how.